people need to understand that there is a limit to the value of your home before you are now competing against a completely different class of home. Top three are home improvement ROIs. I have two. Okay, I'll have to brainstorm. I'll have to think about my third as we go. Go on. Kitchen. Okay. Bathrooms and paint. Okay, my one of my first would be additional living space, which is kind of all encompassing of perhaps finished basement or outdoor so, living. Ooh. Okay, well, you want to explain that then? Let's start with that. Well, I think especially since the beginning of COVID, that became much more important to people. They realized how important it was to have more space. And it's not always affordable to buy a bigger home. So how do you make your home more functional? Uh, so one would be to finish any unfinished space. Extra square footage in Extra the home. Extra square footage in the home, which typically we're talking basements. Um, and also making Not good necessarily. A lot of homes you can build out or build up even. Yeah. Uh, or, or and, and outdoor living. And outdoor living could even be... Something like what well, we were just talking about my hot tub. So you're gonna live in your hot tub? No, but having having a <laughs> backyard that Do you think a hot tub has a good ROI? I think if you create the right environment, it can. Uh, I think it's uh, depreciating a, uh sure. your hot tub's a depreciating ass, asset. Yes, and then but the you cost, can listen, you can take the hot tub the with cost you. Of you can take the hot doing tub with the you. hardscape and the landscape. Think, you'll never get that back. Well, this is this is my, we'll my save thing. that for next. This is my thing. Episode. So kitchens. There are many kitchens that I I know people have installed that they will never get half of what they spent back because they went way overboard for That's the type of point. house they have. Yeah. Or they chose like stupid. Yeah, colors. I know someone had, and as an example, they had a million dollar home. Somebody might like, and they spend a hundred thousand on their kitchen. It's not worth ten percent of the value of your home. Depends what the kitchen looked like at the million dollar valuation. No. Yes. If if homes in that general price range, you're telling me, if there's a home that's worth a million bucks with a piece of crap kitchen, Mm -hmm. right? It's like a kitchen that anybody. Any one of us or anybody listening would walk into and say, ooh, this kitchen's fugly. Mm-hmm. You spend $100,000 on renovating that kitchen. You don't think that home is now worth $1.1? 1. 1? No. In certain segments. And I'm saying like, I'll, so here's an, as an example. you now no, on these one are, of your famous sayings, I disagree. Those that would be in that scenario, and this part you can't argue with me because you don't even know the house I'm talking about. So just trust me when I say it was an over improvement, right? Like people need to understand that there is a limit to the value of your home before you are now competing against a completely different class of home. So, as an example, with kitchens. Maybe somebody decides, oh, I'm going to get the most amazing kitchen. I'm going to get hardwood cabinets, everything done really well, you know, top of the line appliances versus, oh, let's get a particle board kitchen with cheaper but still nice looking cabinets. Like there's ways to do it to get a better ROI. And that's the whole point of this conversation. Making smart decisions when doing these upgrades. So in your professional opinion... To get the most ROI on your kitchen renovation, Mm -hmm. what would you suggest? It really depends on the house, right? And this goes back to making sure you don't over-improve. So make sure you have a good understanding of what similar types of homes have. And it's okay to splurge, but just understand that if you do go overboard your ROI is going to be reduced or diminished to nil. But another good option for kitchens is if your cabinets are in decent condition, like the boxes, you can add a dish, maybe add some extra boxes, get all new doors and paint the whole kitchen. And there's a way to do it in a more affordable uh, method. 
Let's take an average size home. What do you believe would give you the best return on investment? I would paint the cabinets. I would get new hardware. I would add trim to the uh, island because I don't have any trim. I didn't get any fancy trim on it. Right, like a wainscoting on the Yeah, but do something decorative because that can really make a kitchen pop. Right. And that's probably it. How much would you have spent on doing that? Yeah. So to paint all of your cabinets, if you got a company to come and do it, four grand, five grand. I was going to say five. Five grand. Replace all the backsplash with tile, get rid of the backsplash, reboard it, put a new tile up, getting somebody to install it. 1500 Oh, you're more than that. You think so? You got your little piece by the fridge. That's tiny. Doesn't matter. It's no, still got to be done. Okay, so maybe 2000 No <laughs> more than 2000 Including, $1, including 2, tile? I would think so. No if way. I'm... No way. You're for any any decent tile. How now? much is a decent tile? Less ten we, bucks is high. I would think. Oh, I don't want to tell you what I spent on the one for the new office then. What'd you spend? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> ten ten is very average. Okay. So let's say ten bucks. I've probably probably got fifteen hundred is reasonable though. Say I'm not I'm not off on my numbers. Okay, fifteen hundred bucks. So we're at sixty five hundred. Yeah. The hardware, another five hundred bucks. Yeah. Okay. Seven grand. And then you'd I'd be you'd add trim to the cabinet or the island. So if someone's paying for that, maybe another thousand bucks. Thousand bucks, eight grand. I don't think that's a good return on the investment personally, but I do. If you do it right, I think it can especially if you, I think it's a very ch- selective thing, because I might not like it. So bathroom, if you were renovating your main bath, what would you do? It would be a complete would you, gut. Okay, would I you, didn't have you wouldn't do to, a fluff I've, there. No, no, because I didn't do anything nice with my main bathroom. Or we're right. talking uh, primary ensuite. So no, I was talking main bath. Okay, you oh, want to go ensuite? Yeah. Let's, okay, let's talk because that's the one everyone's going to do first. Sure. Yeah, that's true. So mine's fairly basic. It has a a large, shitty vanity, with you know, falling doors are falling off. I always have to tighten them. Do you have two sinks? Single sink, because Madame wouldn't, it was something silly, like they wouldn't do a double sink unless it was six feet, and mine's like five foot ten inches. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, so I had a single sink. So I would replace the whole vanity with double sink, and new vanity, replace the tub with a shower. Uh, so you would have... A stand-up n- shower. I would get a, <laughs> I'd get one of those toilets that Steve has. I've always wanted that. Okay, bathroom, so you'd replace the vanity, open up, so you'd get rid, right now you have a tub-shower combo, get rid of that, make it one big shower, so you're not knocking down any walls or anything. There's Would no you remove all the tiles, so yeah. like you're gutting it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Heated so, floors. Heated floors, new tiles, new double vanity, new blow-dry toilet, and um, a nice shower. Mm-hmm. How much does that cost? I would guess, depending on fixtures, because that can make a big difference, low end 15, high end 25. I was going to say if you were doing your bathroom, you're 25 to 30, depending on, again, your fixtures, your tiles, the quality of materials, because there's a lot of tile. You got to do the whole floor. Well, there's toilets ranging from 200 to... 50,000. Right. Like, what do you want to put in there? But you're talking like a $1,000 toilet. And even that's high, really. For Well, for sure. Thing. Actually, I house. went shopping for toilets uh, this past week. I'm I'm shocked at how much toilets actually cost. If and you like want like... Three to 500 for an average one? Yeah. What would do you do? all that. So... Our washroom is actually not that bad in terms of what it needs, but it definitely needs a refresh. Right now we have the soaker tub and it has that tile surround. We're going on way too long. Yeah, yeah. Um, Get rid of that freestanding tub. I would probably open up the shower, which would require or make the shower a bit bigger. It's a 
okay size, but it could be bigger. So reposition the toilet because the toilet is currently behind the shower. So push the toilet out a bit, open up the shower, move that wall. So that would be a little bit more extensive than what most people would do. Retile everything. There's a lot of tile in that bathroom. We currently have one sink, which is on a six foot, more than six foot vanity, which goes wall to wall. Single sink? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had double. Nope. Single with a acrylic, you know, where the acrylic top is essentially one piece with the sink. Anyways, yeah. freestanding tub, replace the toilet with something just that $300 range. Vanity. We actually had our wall above the vanity backsplashed as well. I would replace that tile, replace the floor tile, all the tile in the shower, open up the shower, make it a bit bigger, which also requires a new glass. I love that look with the black trim. So just modernize everything, change it up, whatever. Probably thirty to 35000 to gut, replumb a little bit, all the new... Like even a tub is a new freestanding tub. Well, that talking, is huge too. Yeah, but you're you're a couple grand for something okay, and then all the labor. That's a prob. That's probably a three week job, something like that. Yeah. And then last but not least, you have paint. I see. I have paint, and that's the one of the the two major things we recommend. Are well, paint is first and far. Shout out to Heidi from best. Sepia Painting. And light fixtures. Light fixtures. Yeah. But the, the most important, the most critical component of all of this is if you're doing it strictly for getting to ensure you get a good return, is doing it within reason of uh, what's expected in your type of property. 